Hey you guys, welcome to the sweet tour. Come on in. To understand the space a little bit better, this is a demo floor plan. Suites at Harvard can range anywhere from a two-person suite to a nine-person suite. They often come with their own common room, which is a shared lounging space, as well as their own bathroom and occasionally their own kitchen. Hey, hi, hi, you guys. Welcome to the official suite tour. So today I'm going to be taking you through an example of an upperclassman suite here at Harvard, and I'm going to be showing you everything there is to know. So let's go ahead and get started. We start with the common rooms. So our common room is a little bit different because this is technically a suite for four, and so we have two extra desks and two extra armoires which we ended up moving into the common room for the time being and usually all common rooms come equipped with couches i personally like the leather ones better than the cloth ones but you're always set for your common room and we have two floor to ceiling adjacent they're pretty much floor to ceiling windows they're absolutely really stunning. Now we go into the bathroom, which is a two person bathroom, a his and hers. Here I am with marble sinks, as well as these little shelves to hold your belongings. We each have our own hygienic things and then some toilet paper stashed here and some cleaning supplies. The standard shower, you know, run of the mill. And then, of course, standard bathroom. I really do love the mirrors here, though, and the cute little mirror lights. There's really good lighting in here. And I personally added my snake plant here and this reusable little thing of hand soap and some air freshener to keep the bathroom smelling clean. So that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Next, we head into my room, which from the looks of it, you're probably like, whoa. But we'll start with the door. I'm gonna put my keys away so the clink sound will stop. But from the very beginning, we have my towel, my robe, my little face mask thingy here, towelette. And then I have my monthly calendar, which I've been making a bigger effort to actually use it as a monthly calendar, you guys. And then my desk, I moved the other desk out of here and I'm just using this for the time being. All of my desk supplies, little makeup accessories and perfume. And then I recently got this television and some cotton pads and cotton swabs and all that fun stuff next here we have my cart you guys know i've been storing more food in here recently so granola bars i've got some avocados here mangoes ziplocs tea and i have been using it as i would say a mini pantry because i've been a lot more intentional about making breakfast in here uh just because since we're a working girly and this is a working summer, I don't have as much time to be going to the dining hall and getting breakfast or finding time to go on my own, buy food, all that fun stuff. So I try to make what I can in here. We also have a kitchen, which I will give you guys a tour of later. So next we have our armoires, run of the mill as well. My little tote bags, my bag, some belts, other little accessories. Up here we have my two organization bins. I put dishes in here just so it's easier for me to move in and out from to and from the kitchen because the kitchen is actually not on the same floor as we are. So for accessibility's sake. And then turning here, 
ah, you see the beautiful view from these two floor to ceiling windows, which I love. They bring a lot of natural light in here, although I don't know how to clean them, but here I have my mini fridge, Keurig, Nutribullet, the toaster, my water bottle, and a thing of internet. I recently got this modem and it's been helping a lot with having internet in here, uh, especially because it's been a little bit iffy during the summer. Next we have the full body mirror to check our fits, a, And then over here, once again, my little shoe rack slash just random things on here. My bag is here and I've thrown a little decor pillow. Shoes organized and looking pretty. And then I have my yoga mat tucked right here in this little corner. In front of the bed, we have this little cushion. I'm not, I literally don't know. Whenever I make these videos, I forget what these basic things are called, but this little cushion sitting thingy that I use occasionally. And then my laundry basket, which has gotten quite full. And that's how we know we need to do the laundry. I'm actually gonna move this out of the way so you guys can see a little bit, but I don't know if you can tell, but underneath the beds, I have my three suitcases. So we are being mindful of space for sure. And then we have the bed, literally oh, so beautiful. And it has a really nice summer vibe, which is literally my entire goal. In doing this, this set I believe I got from Home Goods or Home Goods Adjacent, I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful set. It is actually a king set because I was trying to measure things out. Like I said, this is technically a double, so there's two people per room and there are two rooms in this suite. So I put the beds together to make this huge massive bed because I just wanted to make this room not remind me of an actual dorm room. And I think we did a great job at that. So we have this little blue nautical type vibe set. And then these are the yellow pillows from when I had done my bed in yellow. And then these two frames up here Literally, my go to's are always Home Goods, HM Home, uh, Urban Outfitters Home also has some good pieces. Usually, kind of more boho type vibe. If I'm looking for something like that, very good place to go. Next, we have this little side table, which is not technically a side table. This is the piece that actually goes underneath the desk, but right now the printer is taking up that space. I basically use it as my miscellaneous jar. I just have some beauty stuff in here. And then this faux orchid, which looks really pretty and I love. And then my alarm and this other little decor piece right there. And then, as you guys know, the classic staple shelves. This time around, I just did two, keeping it really nice and simple. My goal for the room was to keep it airy. And then lastly, I forgot to mention our little floating slash hanging plant. Apart from that, I would say that's our quick overview of the room. I also forgot to mention that technically there's a little balcony out here. And you could, you could, but probably can't. You could technically go out here, but for safety reasons, we're always told not to. So just to give you guys a nice little view of what we've got going on. And I mean, that's pretty much it for the room. Next up is the kitchen. This is our trash room. About to turn on the light, but. <laughs> Yeah, this is the trash room. Pretty standard donation box. And then some recycling materials. And then right out here, we have our bike rack situation, which is actually pretty helpful and great. And then we have our laundry room, pretty standard. 
with some vending machines and extra stock of toilet paper if you need them. Then on the way to the kitchen, we have a couple of sitting areas to eat your food and of course our trash cans and recycling. Last stop is the kitchen. So this is actually our communal kitchen. This is shared by everybody who's in here. Microwave, stovetop, which is a little dirty. Some dishes, dishes that have not been washed and some other things. And then the shared refrigerator, some labeling stickers for good and bad food since people do come in here and clean out the fridge occasionally. And then there are also some like cooking books up here, but pretty run of the mill occasionally. I will come in here and whip something up. But with that, I'm gonna say thank you so, so much for sticking around. This is actually going to be the end of the tour. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.